Yo, what's up? So, I've been seeing some Anas soloing Infinity Tower 10. So, I decided to give it a shot myself. And, uh, yeah, this is the run. This is actually my first run, by the way. But, yeah, and I also tried her in, like, um, in the lower IT, IT 1, 2, 3. That one wasn't working all too well because there's multi hits. Like, uh, if I'm not mistaken, IT 1 has, like, Lu Yi and stuff. And then also, the lower level the Infinity Tower is, the higher the damage that's been like for I think for most infinity tower in the lower infinity tower levels the enemies do more damage but they're less tanky so you can just cleave them but if they let if you let them get a turn then they're just going to do a, a shit ton of damage to you but in like higher IT they're more tanky but they do less uh, less damage you can let them get like one or two turns and you're not gonna get nuked so yeah Ana doesn't really work against like lower ITs but in Infinity Tower 10 it is perfect for her because um, there's not that many uh, sing uh, multi hits in the first floor Unas multi hits with his S1 and then the rest doesn't really multi hit and then on the second wave Yun Chuan multi hits with his S3 and S1 but the only problem with uh, the second wave really is just Hilda. If you get slapped by Hilda without your immunity buff, then you're kind of screwed. So there's a bit of RNG there, but it's not really that much RNG. Like I said, I, tr I got this run on my first attempt. Alright, so I've tried her against Kronos, Apep, and Fafnir. She doesn't work in all three. Kronos, because he has that second hit, the, the rock attack, uh, the second hit is going to uh, one-shot her, and you don't have enough attacks to build up your Rainbow Seed. With Apep, Apep will always full heal uh, whenever he counter attacks, so Ana doesn't do enough damage to kill him off, and also not enough Rainbow Seed stacks to survive as well. Fafnir, same thing, when you deplete his HP bar, he freezes you and then all of his attacks just one, one shot sir unless you can land the 25% chance to block. But it's not gonna, even if you land the 25% every single time, he will freeze you whenever you deplete his uh, HP bar. Okay, so Andras is the one that she's gonna be soloing very easily. I've changed my build up a bit. I'm using triple attack, uh, tri attack, attack speed with no crit rate, and yeah, I can pretty much just blitz this one, and it's gonna win. Yep, 192 turns. Let me just skip to the boss fight real quick. All right, so we're at the boss stage right here. The reason why she can easily solo Andras is because of this ads right here. So whenever the ad attacks onto Ana when she has the Rainbow Shield, she can gain the uh, Rainbow Seed to help her uh, survive better, right? So, the problem with the other bosses is that there's no adds to help you replenish your rainbow seed. Whereas in Andras, there's 4. So yeah, she's not gonna do too much damage to Andras. But when she kills off all of these adds, Andras is gonna take a huge chunk of damage and then revive everything else. So yeah, she basically is like un unkillable. She just keeps on countering the adds, heal up back to full and doing percent HP damage, current HP damage yeah they're gonna get lower and lower but eventually they're gonna die and then Andras takes a huge chunk of the damage yeah as you can see my rainbow seed is still at 3 at all times because they, they keep getting replenished There we go, it's super slow, but there was no danger of Ana dying. I pretty much had like the rainbow seed at 3 at all times. Her damage is, what is that, 4 million? Uh, 4.7 million damage taken, 292k, protection 270k, and support 14,000. And uh, yeah, this is a footage that I got from a couple of days ago that I recorded in my Cube Miracle with the 
splash damage, single target splash damage uh, rune. Um, and it's just Ana soloing the last defender. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Ciao.